Everything comes from the darkness. Yo, we back again, man. Mac the Guru, all the links below. Just checked out that all the smoke interview, man. Dog, that was a good one. That might have been um one of they they top interviews with with uh Shannon Sharp. Yeah, man. Y'all gotta go watch that because the 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 beginning part of the interview is what make it so dope. Cause you know, Uncle Shay went in. He went. He he went in. He talked about um, his upbringing. And you, when you want to talk about hard work or hard upbringing, man, he talks about not having a bathroom and stuff, being down south in the country, and you know having to come up. Like <laughs> yo, I think at one point he said, "Yo, he used to sleep and look up and see the stars." I'm like, oh. I thought it was rough in, in St. Lulu, but golly, you know, that one was, uh, yeah, nah, bro, I ain't never seen nothing like that. I don't know too many that uh was living like that, you know, so he, he had a tough upbringing, and he talked about how, you know, his grandma took him in, and his grandpa, and they raised him and his brother, and then what was also dope when he started talking about, you know, football, how he, how he got his way, you know, I kind of knew a lot of that stuff, um, uh, you know, but he talked about when his brother got hurt, man, and then also, he made me go look up, the the interview made me go look up uh, highlights of his brother, like, I, I remember seeing his brother, but I didn't know he was, like, like, Jerry, like, I ain't gonna say Jerry Wright, but he was, like, Marvin Harrison good, you know what I'm saying, like, he was, I'm like, dang, this dude's the man. But, uh, yeah, you know, both of them uh, went to the Hall of Fame, so that's dope. And then, um, you know, Steve and Jack and uh, Matt, y'all, y'all did a great job too, man, because uh, how y'all let it, just let them go, you know. Because sometimes people that interview, people uh, mess it up because they, get, they, they got these questions that they want to ask so bad, you know, so they, uh, they, uh, uh, stop a person from talking to make sure they get all their questions in, basically, you know, so that's what was the dopest part, where they just let them, they let them rock, like, go ahead, rock, you know, and they let them talk for, because Uncle Shay could go, boy, he could go too, they let them talk about seven, ten minutes, and then they ask another question, you know, because he was, he was going, you know. The only thing Uncle Shay Shay, Uncle Shay don't know nothing about no basketball, man. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's the only part I like. I know they go ask too, right towards the end. Who who you like, LeBron, uh, uh Jordan, Kobe? He like go dang. I'm like boy, he don't know nothing about no basketball. That's okay. I knew Uncle Shay Shay and Skip. Didn't know nothing, like, Skip used to know stuff about basketball, but I guess he getting older now, he kind of, he, he losing a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But, but, uh, when they was talking about who the most skilled player ever, and both of them said Lamar, I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, they done lost their mind. It's, it's player, don't even compare them to the greats, you know, it's player, LeBron is dominant, he like a Shaq or a Wilt, you know, he's 6'9", 2", but he not skilled, he ain't, he not he don't got dribbling moves and footwork and you know fundamentals you know what I'm saying he can't fade over his left shoulder and his right you know he he go over his right with the fade you know so it ain't a skill thing but that's a whole nother story man you know but this was a great interview um oh and uh he said a dope line it when they was asking about like uh, having a partner he said yo I want a a uh a partner not trying to, like he said, I want a partner. I'm not trying to sponsor nobody. That was dope, you know, because the, the the era that we in now, boy, that's all a lot of these chicks be looking for, somebody to sponsor, do something, you know, take them somewhere, or something, you know, like they don't want to, like, put that hard work in, you know, and, that was a hard line, you know, but it made sense because Uncle Shay, when he talked about his his uh upbringing, he like, yo, Uncle Shay worked like <clears throat> like almost like a slave, 
You know what I'm saying? That's how he basically was saying it. Damn, sound like dang. He almost sound like a, a, like. Uh, not a, I wouldn't say a slave, but a, a servant. Like I'm like, man, he talking about how he's pick cotton. And all that. <laughs> no, no, but yo, that was a, a dope interview. You know, got to see uh, Uncle Shay upbringings. They did a great job with the interview, letting them uh, talk. So good job, man. All the smoke probably. I used to like uh, Q Rich and them stuff, but. And I still do, but I think all the smoke, they probably the, the, the best one. They probably the best one. They got it set up dope, and they got Showtime backing them, so they, they doing it. But, yeah, they probably the best, best like, basketball podcast out there, you know. But, yeah, man, keep doing y'all thing. Make sure y'all check it out. Dope interview, man. It's Mac the Guru. Links below. Make sure y'all like the video, especially if you're here. If you done made it this far, you got to like the video. Um, yeah, man. Until next time.